Welcome to SAS Daily Podcast Weekly Conservative Show here on WKRO, Akron's 80s, 90s, and more. We're uh, blessed enough to have a uh, interview with a candidate running in my county, in Knott County, Landon Gibson. He's run for constable. He's a Republican running for constable in District 2. How are you doing tonight, man? Doing okay, Seth. How are you, buddy? Doing good, man. Glad to sit down with you and uh, have you on the show. It's good to sit down and talk to you finally. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, man. And uh, not, no disrespect to the other candidates, but uh, they don't have the law enforcement experience like you do. Uh, no, they don't, Seth. Like I said, uh, like I said to me, to, to a lot of people, you know, uh, I have 10, plus, 10 years plus experience here at the jail. Uh, I know... I know the inmates, I know um, paperwork that comes with getting people out, warrants, anything you can ask for in the court system. I know that uh, to the back of my head pretty much. Um, like I, I told I said this many times, Seth, when I was out on the campaign trail, uh, I wouldn't run for this just because my uncle and dad were constables. Uh, I run for this because I worked at the jail for 10 years. And it's given me the experience I need to feel comfortable doing the job. I, I just wouldn't run just because my uncle and uh, dad had it. Uh, that's just not the – I have to feel comfortable doing something, I guess you can say. And with the experience I've gained here, I've got pretty comfortable with it. Absolutely. And uh, really, since your dad, we've not had a constable that patrols our area, man. Uh, do you plan on bringing that back? Uh, yes, I do. Um like in my district, Seth, you got the lake, uh, which is mostly where my dad patrolled uh, because that's what they ask him to patrol, you know. Uh, but, you know, I, I, like I said, I've, uh, I got this home office concept uh, that I've come up with. Uh, I, I posted this last night um, that uh, I don't have an office at the Human Resource Building. I don't have an office in the uh, the courthouse or anything like that. My office is my office is going to be a little office in Pine Top. If anybody has any problems or issues, they're more than welcome to come and talk with me in my office. Uh, it's a it's a comfortable environment, couch stuff like that. People will feel comfortable with. Um, but yes, the patrols. Uh, I hope we can bring that back. And with my law enforcement experience, dealing with these inmates constantly. Um, I should have a good rapport with people and uh, know I handle certain situations the best I can, Seth. You know, that's, that's the best way I can put it. And also, you can do uh, Zoom. You could also do Zoom meetings with people and stuff as well in your district. Yes, uh, this Zoom is a first for me as far as interviews, but we, we have been doing Zoom court for uh, ever since COVID. Uh, we're, starting to, we're starting to step back from that and going back in person. Uh, but yeah, I'm familiar with Zoom and stuff like that. Uh, definitely, um, it's a thing that I can consider. Like I said, I'm still working on things and trying to get it situated to where I can do my job from that office. But it's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. Definitely, but that's definitely cool, though, man. That we uh, we're gonna have a constable that wants to patrol the area and stuff. Cause really, I haven't seen a constable since your dad do that. Really, to be honest. <laughs> Um, yeah, well, this is a story I'm going to tell. Back when my uncle had, was constable, uh, back in the set, when he first got in the 70s, early 80s, you could take DUIs of a back of the state police car and take them home. But now that's not the, you can't do that. But I'm saying that's back in the good old days, you know, it's a story that you can, you know, constables are, you know, like I, this is what I'm going to, but, you know, one of my signs I got today says, putting our community first. And a, a, a constable is also a peace officer. And, and it can represent your community in a good way and promote your community in a good way and help people in your community. I mean, I can, you know, it, it's not just about policing. It's about, you know, what, what your community needs and what I can give back to that community. Because I have lived in Pine Top for 33 years now. And it's, give, it's, it's, it's given me a lot more than I can give, possibly give it back. And... My favorite word about the constable job is peace officer. You know, uh, a peace officer can mean a variety of things, uh, you know, but 
That's, you know, my, put my community first is going to be the thing I go by. And I want to share this little story here. Uh, the Car Creek Alumni Association, I am uh, working with them on trying to get their building updated. Uh, you know, uh, I've offered to not watch and police that area if needed to keep vandalism happening. And um, hopefully I can work with them more and help that because that is in the lake area and it's a beautiful part of the county, beautiful part of the county. And uh, that's what my goal is right now, working with them. In, in four years span, I hope to I hope to make an impact. I can't promise you what that impact may be because that's not my style, but uh, I will make an impact. And it's going to be to the good and positive. I can assure you that, Seth. That's definitely cool, man. Car Creek, uh, Car Creek High School actually played basketball there for two years for uh, Bethel. We played our homes, home games there, so that's definitely a very special place to me. Well, man. the fiscal court just approved a $15,000 grant for them to uh, to fix their gym roof and stuff and keep them leaking, and uh, that's a start. I mean, their long-term goal, Seth, is a bed and breakfast type thing there at the lake where you can have a bed and breakfast concept but overlooking the lake. That is a long-term dream of theirs. And you yourself can imagine how cool that would be to have a bed and breakfast there for people to come around the lake, summertime, stuff of that nature. Definitely. And that is, I think that's pretty cool. I just learned that the other day at the fiscal court meeting. Um, I didn't know the concept that until that time. But it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool concept, and it's good tourism as well. Definitely. And uh, John Hicks, when, when he was constable and your dad was constable, they went to funerals and stuff. You plan on doing that as well, like helping uh, with traffic and stuff at funerals? Yes, I do. I, I do plan on doing that. Um, my dad done my dad done a funeral for the sheriff, uh, the current sheriff, and uh, he, he done all the funerals, which, you know, it's kind of hard for me to do and work here. But I will do all the funerals that I can, say if that's, you know, if, if Del Richardson calls me and says do a funeral, I will try to make my effort to do that. Um, that's that's uh, that's been a part of the job, and that's what that's what a lot of people that's what a lot of people think of a constable after so long. You know, this past this recent year, that they do funerals and stuff like that, and that's 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 an awesome thing. I mean, and it's and it's, it's a lot of it's a lot of respect when they ask you you personally to do a funeral for them and, and to lead a funeral. And we're fortunate to live in an area, I just saw this on Facebook the other day, that people pull off the side of the road when the funeral procession comes by. And that's, you know, a lot of people don't do that. And a lot of parts of the country don't do that. But we're a small community here, and we, we respect one another for the most part. <laughs> Definitely. Now, uh, what what was you, uh, what, what went into your decision to run for constable? Well, as I stated earlier, um, Working here, Seth, pretty much. Working at the jail. Um, I figured I could expand into the community through the constable job and help people. Like, say, my office concept. If you have a question about a warrant that you may have or a question about a court proceeding, uh, I could possibly tell you, I know I can tell you, that the best steps to go and keep it from becoming a bigger problem. I know the paperwork. I know how to, I know the steps to fix the paperwork, and that's 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 one of the reasons for the home office concept because it's just something that we can talk in, and you know, and be private. I guess you can say the best word to put is private, and people I can help them out with uh, that kind of sort of stuff. But like I stated earlier, Seth, if I if I didn't work at the jail and had that background, I would not dare run for this. You, and you can mark it now. I've, I've said that on my campaign trail a hundred times. I run this campaign to thank my father, but I wouldn't have done it without working here and experience because I would I would be lost without it. Absolutely, man. I definitely and appreciate I, you being on. Um, no disrespect to my opponents, but they do not have law enforcement experience. And and I'm 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 sort of I'm I'm thinking here. I'm probably the only constable that's ever run for, for that job that's had any experience in it. 
Really? I, hope that, I, I don't know if that hurts me or helps me in the long run, but I do have experience <laughs> in it, and that's uh, – It should help you for sure. Because, like I said, I, it's all about the community to me. I mean, uh, I don't want to see our community destroyed, vandalized, vandalized you know, stuff of that nature. And and, and and patrolling is is a good thing because, you know, there ain't many law enforcement – you know they're they're few and far between now because you know uh, cutbacks in that area and stuff like that. But a constable can help with that, and um, that's a good. Th I'm glad you brought that up. Actually, I mean it's something that I'm going to have to uh, plan out in certain areas, like the campaign trail. You know, um, you have to go to certain areas to talk to people, like Sassafras. And cold stuff like that. You can have a schedule where you can patrol those areas, and you know, and don't be so uh, what's that called? I guess don't be predictable. If you're predictable, it's like building cell checks here at the jail. If you're predictable, that people won't figure you out. So in that regard, you know, like I say, you should set up. You know, like the littlest community should should not go without policing. I mean, that's that's a like Anco. It's it's a real small community, probably the smallest in the county, and there's a lot of uh, I guess I'm going to say this, riffraff. That goes on around there because, you know, it's such a small area and the police don't patrol it that much. So um, that's something that I, I will look into and hopefully I can I can learn. And I, I, I go on this job knowing everything. I'm going to have to learn as I go. Like I started at the jail, you know, I started out passing trays and at the bottom of the totem pole. And then I went up to lieutenant, captain, and, you know, it, it takes time. It takes time. And uh, as I go into this, I'm not going to go into it uh, with a big head or mindset. I'm better than anybody or anything like that. I just landed. And uh, if you need my help, I'm there. So. And you got a Facebook page where people can contact you at as well. Yeah, I have a, a Facebook page. It's going to be a big asset to me uh, because I am part of the younger uh, generation. And I believe in the, uh, accessibility. And uh, and having accessibility to your officials, your magistrates, your constables, I believe in that uh, to, to that most. Because you can't you can't be a shut in, and be a political person. You can't. I mean, it's it's not uh, it's not good for your it's not good for your community and and stuff like that. It's not. And accessibility is one of my key things to this campaign. Accessibility uh, this is just having access to me. My phone number is on there. You can message me on Facebook. If you got any questions and uh, stuff like that? And uh, that's a big thing, accessibility, Seth. Uh, that's uh, something I'm going to preach through the four years. I'm going to be accessible. I'm not going to be up some holler. Uh, I'm not going to be up some holler hiding from from the public. That's not me. I live on. The, I live off the main road, Seth. I'm right there. And anytime you want to speak with me or anything like that, you're more than welcome. And that's my policy and my goal through the four years. Definitely, man. Definitely appreciate you being on, brother. And uh, you definitely got my support. And uh, we'll have you on again for sure. Seth, I appreciate that, son. And uh, if there's anything I can do for you and your family, you let me know. And, and we'll uh, go from there, buddy. Yes, sir. This has been Seth's Daily Podcast, weekly conservative show here on WKRO. Y'all have a good night. And uh, God bless.